we're going to continue um, working with sketch patterns uh, in L4-07, uh, but this time it'll be a rectangular pattern instead of a, a circular one. So open up the same um, module if, if you haven't already. I haven't, so sketch patterns was the name of it. Okay, here we are. All right, create a new sketch. Uh, first, let's go like that. Same plane here. And I believe they're going to want us to make a rectangle first. I don't know what type of rectangle though. So, uh, two point rectangle, uh, center point 100 by 100 millimeters to make a square center at the origin. So, <clears throat> Go in here, center rectangle, up and out. Let me actually redo this so that I don't have to go back and dimension it. I'm going to go to rectangle, center rectangle. I don't want to go back and have to dimension both sides. I want this to be a one, one, one step process. So you can see the bottom dimension is already highlighted the, the width. Um, so I'm going to put in 100 and then I'm going to click tab. And that'll get me to the uh, the height of this square, and I'll put in a hundred there as well. So that just saves me an extra step of having to click on dimension and going back and and doing both sides. All right, click create center diameter circle. Draw a circle in the upper left corner of the square. Okay, easy enough. So I can either click on this or I can click C. For circle and just somewhere up here, tiny little circle. Oh, that's a good point. So this snapped to, you can see it's snapped to this um, dotted line here. Um, so it's rigid or fixed on it and we don't want that so we can you know we could we could have <clears throat> as we were drawing it um held control or command command on os or mac um so that it didn't snap to that dotted line but since we've already created it the other way to do this would be click on our click on the constraint holding it on that dotted line and delete it and now we can drag it off freely so that's that's what we want to do all right, press D for the dimensioning tool um, and go 10 by 10. That's kind of silly because it's going to lie on that 45 dotted line anyway. Uh, I want to make sure I'm doing all this right. Um, create a dimension between the circle's center point and top edge. Oh, OK. So. Simple enough. They want this to be 10. And then they want that to be 10. All right, and here's where we can use some parametrics. Instead of putting 10 in here, we're going to come over here and click that. And that way we know it'll always scale properly if we were to ever change this. Okay. Oh, they had us do parametrics anyway. All right. All right. Click create rectangular pattern. All right. For the control uh, panels object selection, choose the 10 millimeter circle. Use uh, the on screen manipulator arrows to drag the pattern distances horizontally and vertically. Drag the pattern instances so they travel 80 millimeters in the horizontal direction and in the vertical direction. So we'll zoom out a little bit. All right, we're going to click create. Go down to rectangular pattern. OK, we're going to get a similar palette here um, as the circular pattern that we had in the last tutorial. 
Uh, so we're going to click on our object first and see it says objects. So you could actually click on multiple things if, if you wanted to. Um, and then you can click on the directions you want it to go to. Um, so we've, collect, we, we, we've selected this edge and this edge to define um, which way we want this to, to run. So we can go like this. Dragging these arrows out, and I believe they said 80, 70, 80, 70, 80. And we have three, um, three rows and three columns, at least right now. We can go in, we could change this. We could say four or five, and they're evenly spaced as well. But um, let's keep it at three until they tell us otherwise. Um, all right. They're just going to say that's good enough for now, but we're going to hop right back into it. Um, so I right clicked um, so that I can click OK here. You can also click OK on the rectangular pattern um, pop up palette as well, but I'll click OK right here. All right. <clears throat> so with the circular pattern, um, if you wanted to go in and edit it, uh, the icon was found at the center of the pattern. Um, but in this uh, in this case, with the rectangular pattern, it's going to be found uh, on the object, the, the, the parent object that was used to create the, the array. So it's in the upper left hand corner in this instance. We're going to uh, left click on it to highlight it and then click edit rectangular pattern to pull this menu back up. Increase the number of instances in each direction to four and then click OK. So we've got four here. Okay, I'm going to click this and go four. Notice I, <clears throat> notice I had to click on the arrow to get the, the, both the distance and the quantity uh, in that axis. So this, these two values here um, are referencing this um, distance and the number of, uh, what is that, number of rows. And I'd have to click on this arrow. And now these two values are referencing this distance and the number of um, objects uh, or the number of columns, if you will, in this pattern. Okay, enter. And that's it, pretty straightforward. Again, a very useful tool. Save it. <clears throat>